Hey, this is David with Froggy Fly, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a donation form for your nonprofit or any other reason you might want to collect money uh, from donors. Okay, um, this is pretty simple. In all, setting up this form should only take about 10 minutes. If you follow this tutorial with each step that I'm talking about, it'll be very simple and you won't get lost. All right, I'm using uh, the American Red Cross just as a loose template for setting up this form. Uh, in their form, they have a frequency, an amount you want to give, and then uh, a, a, an effort that you want to support. And then, of course, you've got your payment details. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're only going to be integrating with Stripe because if you use uh, Stripe payments, you can actually allow your uh, donors to manage their subscriptions with my plugin called Gravity Stripe. They can very easily go in there and manage those subscriptions, update credit card, cancel this, the uh, donate or the recurring donation, etc. And that is called Gravity Stripe. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. I've done a couple things here to match this up. Um, of course, my donation form doesn't look nearly as, as sexy right now. I spent a little bit more time on the design aspect. I could get it to look just like the, uh, the donation form on the Red Cross, but we're just doing something a little bit more simplified. Now, what you see here still does look relatively nice, a lot nicer than if you don't know any sort of coding or something at all. But to create this, I didn't have to use any code. Um, I use something called Beaver Builder, and it's a page builder for WordPress. And then I also use the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder so that I can go in and customize the look of my form without having to utilize code code takes a long time and at the end of the day i just want to reach a result that looks really nice without having to code it um, so if i go into beaver builder i'll just give you a quick demonstration of how that works and they have a a, a, a element called gravity form styler and i can go through and really style every aspect of this form uh, including the button, the text, uh, error messages, all that sort of stuff is all uh, included with this element of ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder. I will include these links down in the description. Um, if you like what you see here, click on them, check it out. Uh, it's really you know fairly priced, and then it is an affiliate link. Uh, they'll give me a little bit of kickback for referring you to them, and it just helps me uh, do business like this where I don't get paid for it. I'm just trying to help you guys out make life a little bit easier for you. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into uh, the just the overview and the details of this form. I've got a name field, an email field, donation amount, a donation type, and then what the donation should be used for. Okay, so if we look at this, pick an amount, we can do $10, we can do a one-time donation, and there's my credit card information fields or I could do recurring and it it uh, asks me for a frequency. So I can choose one month or I can choose every six months. All right, now I'll show you how to set this up in the back end so that depending on what they select, the right information is gonna go into Stripe, they're gonna get charged appropriately and you're not gonna have somebody calling you up because they said every six months and it's charged them every month for the last six months. All right, so that's the front end of the form. It's pretty simple and easy. All right, now if we go to the uh, back end of the form, I'm going to go into the form editor, and you'll see the corresponding fields. So I've got a name field, a receipt field, donation, donation type, frequency, what the donation is going to be used for, and then the credit card field. All right, now I do have some conditional logic set up on here, meaning if somebody makes a, a selection on here of recurring donation, it's going to display the frequency field, but it won't ever display that frequency field until they choose recurring donation. And this just helps keep your form a little bit more compact. Um, if somebody opens up your page and it's, you know, full top to bottom with all this information you're trying to gather even if they don't have to fill out all of it it's going to overwhelm them and you'll get a lot of people that'll just say i don't have time and they'll go somewhere else right so to set up those uh conditional logic options down at the very bottom you'll see where it says conditional logic so i'm going to show this particular field if 
donation type is recurring donation. All right. I've also got it set up for credit card. Down here, I've got it set up to say if the donation type is one time or recurring. And I have to choose this to say any instead of all. The reason I do that is if you don't, um, if you just leave the credit card field active all the time, it actually has this little error message that shows and it just looks unprofessional uh, when somebody's trying to fill out the form. Once they make the right selections, it'll pop up, but it looks a lot better if uh, you just have that pop up following their inputs. So let's go ahead and save this. And I'm gonna show you where the, uh, the meat and potatoes of this all happens. And that is in your settings and in Stripe. So once you add your Stripe field, which is down here at the bottom under pricing fields, first, of course, you're gonna add your product, which is your donation amount. So that's my product field, okay. And I've got my options in here, $10, $20, $30. And then next, I would have to add my Stripe card field. So I would drag that in. If you don't have any feeds set up yet, in other words, you don't have that connection between Stripe and your form set up yet, it's just going to say, looks like you don't have a feed. Go set one up. Click the little option, or you can click Settings and Stripe. And you'll go to the back end. If you don't have any feeds set up yet, it's going to ask you or prompt you with a little red link to create your first feed. Click on that and it'll look something like this when it pops up. Okay, so let's go ahead back over here and I'll show you what this looks like. So I have three different options here. Number one is products and services. That's going to be for my single donations, my one-time donations. The next one is going to be a subscription for my one-month donations and a subscription for my six month donations. The reason I have two is with each feed handles one action. So if somebody selects one time donation, they enter their credit card information, they submit the form, it's only gonna use this feed. It's not gonna use the other ones. And the reason that is going to happen is because inside of each feed, I've set up conditional logic to say process this feed if donation type is one time. All right. The other ones are going to say process it if the feed is recurring or every one month. So if choose a frequency is every one month. The reason I, I chose this option is because if you remember the choose a frequency field does not show unless somebody chooses a uh, recurring donation. So I'm, you know, I'm safe knowing that this feed, this feed isn't going to fire accidentally and charge somebody inappropriately um, because it's going to be hidden unless they do want to make a recurring donation and that recurring donation is every one month. So let's look at some of the variables that have to be entered here. Um, I've given it a name. That's just a name that I can remember when I see it. If the transaction type is subscription. The subscription name is Helping Hands Recurring Donation. Now this is going to be displayed inside of your Stripe dashboard. And then it can also be displayed on your uh, donor's credit card statement. Okay, um, it can be. So you want to make sure that uh, it's something that's going to be recognizable. Don't use it, you know, something that's strictly internal that you know only you're going to recognize. When they get that credit card statement, if they don't recognize it, they'll think it's fraud, and then they're going to cancel it. All right. So um, and if they think it's fraud and they've paid for the last five months, then Stripe is going to take all that money out of your account and then make you prove that uh, they signed up. All right. So. Um, I've called it Helping Hands Recurring Donation. I've got this one set up for one month because, as you remember, this is frequency of one month. If uh, your 501, if being a 501 requires you to collect billing information from donors, this is where you can do that information. Uh, you can also add additional information. So if I if I need to collect other information from donors, 
that's that's going to be needed just internally or uh, for your tax purposes or you know your your status. Um, you can add as many options here as you want, and then you'll just match them up. All right. The only other things that are required on here is number one, your recurring amount. And then number two is an email where that receipt will be sent. All right, so those are your subscription options. And then, of course, we looked at the uh, one-time donation as well. So that is that is the uh, that's all you need to really do to set up your donation form for your nonprofit or whatever organization you have. Um, it's a pretty simple process, but it can get you know a bit challenging if you don't know what you're doing. Hopefully, this tutorial will help you out. Um, if you are collecting donations from your uh, donors, especially if you're doing subscription donations. I recommend checking out our plugin called Gravity Stripe, which I referred to a little bit. And what this does is it allows you to go in and uh, allows your users to be able to go in and actually manage their own recurring uh, donations. So they can go in, update their credit card information. Um, it gives them a page. There's plenty of video demos on here, but it gives them a page where they can look at uh, their subscription or their recurring donation, when they're going to be charged next, uh, when it was set up. So all that sort of information will be included. They'll also be able to go in and it'll, it will uh, automatically link with their dashboard inside of Stripe. They'll see all the charges that have ever been charged for that subscription. And coming very soon, um, we're going to be able to also include single or one-time payments and donations uh, in that little dashboard area as well. So they get a full picture of any sort of financial um, relationship they have with your nonprofit. So I suggest checking that out. If you have any questions about any of this, uh, feel free to reach out to us at support at froggyfly.com. Uh, if you have a question about Gravity Stripe specifically, just go stroll on over to Gravity Stripe. And then uh, if you go down to the bottom, go ahead and get support. You can fill out uh, pre-purchase or wherever you're at. We'd be happy to help you get things all set up. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it's helpful moving forward with setting up a donation form for your nonprofit organization.